Kimray has partnered with Lamont Valve and Arrester to provide safe, reliable solutions for your well site storage tanks. Lamont products can be separated into three main categories, gauge hatches, relief valves, and flame arresters. In this video, we're going to take a look at different types of flame arresters available to give you a general understanding of how they work and the benefits they offer. Hi, I'm Jeff with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. One of the greatest dangers in transporting and storing flammable liquids or gases is that the vapors could ignite, causing a fire or explosion. A flame arrester is a device that will permit gases or vapors to flow, but prevent the transmission of flame should ignition take place. Whenever a flammable gas or vapor is mixed with air, there's the potential for an explosion. Accidental ignition of the flammable mixture will result in a flame that will travel through the unburnt mixture until the fuel is consumed by the reaction. Applications for flame arresters include gas disposal systems like flares, vapor recovery systems, atmospheric pressure storage tanks, and gas processing vessels. Lamont has several options of flame arresters to protect from this flame transmission. First, there are two explosive mechanisms to consider with flame arresters. Deflagrations are flame fronts traveling at subsonic speeds. When the gas is ignited, the flame begins to accelerate. This acceleration results in the buildup of a pressure wave ahead of the flame. This phase is known as deflagration. Deflagration flame arresters stop the initial phase of an explosion by blocking flames in a specific location to prevent the fire from traveling through the pipeline. Detonations are flame fronts traveling at supersonic speeds. Once the shock wave reaches the pressure to auto-ignite the gas through which it is traveling, the flame front and shock wave couple together, forming an unstable detonation. Detonation flame arresters can withstand sudden explosions in pipelines and are more robust than deflagration arresters. They protect against flame propagation while allowing for maximum flow efficiencies. For deflagrations, flame arresters must be located at the open end of the pipe, end of line, or within specified maximum distances from the ignition source, end line. End-of-line flame arresters are mounted on outlet flanges and vent directly to the atmosphere. They are often used in oil-filled storage tanks to prevent the tank from exploding if gas leaving the vent is struck by light. Inline flame arresters may be installed at specified maximum distance from the end of a section of open vent piping. They are often used in vapor recovery systems and equipment that collect flammable gases. There are three types of Lamont flame arresters with various options in each category. End of line deflagration arresters are used where potential ignition sources are outside the system. Inline deflagration arresters can find the propagating flame. Inline unstable detonation arresters are used in areas where the potential ignition sources are located far from the system. Flame arresters do not require a power source, have no moving parts, and many only require occasional cleaning or component replacement for maintenance. All Lamont flame arresters can be inspected and cleaned if needed to prevent clogging, which can be indicated by an increase in pressure drop. If there is an event and a flame front has been allowed to touch the flame bank, the flame bank must be replaced. Typically, there is no visual indication externally that a flame has successfully been arrested. Because of this, regular cleaning and inspection of the internal flame bank is strongly recommended. Each Lamont product is tested and serialized to ensure high quality and traceability. Reach out to your local Kimray representative today to explore what Lamont products can do for your operation.